Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool transformation pack for Windows XP called Crystal XP. Now we've taken a look at a couple of these transformation packs on this channel. A while ago, we took a look at Fly a Kite OS 10, which had a goal of making Windows XP look uh, very, very similar to Mac OS 10, earlier versions of Mac OS 10. We also took a look at the Vista transformation pack from Windows X Live, which as you can probably tell, had a goal of making XP look like Vista. But Crystal XP is actually pretty unique in the fact that it has a goal of making Windows XP look a little bit more like certain Linux distributions. Um, it actually brings some icons that you might have seen in some Linux distros. It brings a whole new theme to Windows XP. And in this video, we're going to be downloading this, taking a look at it. I'm going to be showing you guys what it's all about and what it actually allows you to do. Now, I will have a download link down below in the video description if you guys want to go ahead and actually check this out and install it for yourselves. Um, unfortunately, the main website, crystalxp.net, that used to host this transformation pack and a lot of the other uh, transformation packs that they offered is not up anymore. The website is now defunct. If you go to crystalxp.net, you're going to get a 503 error. Now, luckily, thanks to the Wayback Machine, we can actually take a look at this site as it was in 2007. So this uh, organization uh, was active in the mid to late 2000s and this website from what I can gather was basically like a community for you know people could actually come on here sign up they had a form where people could talk about various different topics you see there's some recent forum posts here um, but one of the popular things that they offered were called Brico packs and Brico packs are, are essentially transformation packs where you can actually download these and uh, give your Windows XP installation an entirely new look and they offered a couple of them, uh, more than just the one that we're going to be taking a look at in this video, which is the Crystal XP Brico Pack. They offered one called Crystal Clear. They offered a Vista-like theme as well as a Longhorn-like transformation pack. Um, so you can actually download these, and these might actually be cool to take a look at in a future video. If you guys want to see that, uh, be sure to let me know. But today we're going to be focusing on Crystal XP, which is the one at the very bottom uh, of this list here. Now, if you clicked on About Brico Packs, uh, this would basically give you some information information about what uh, system requirements that you had to have and it does tell you that you cannot install multiple Brico packs at the same time so if I had Crystal XP installed and I wanted to download Crystal Clear um, I'd have to uninstall Crystal XP first before installing Crystal Clear now this did not work on the 64-bit variant of Windows XP but it looks like it worked on every other release XP service pack 1 2 it does not say service pack 3 and that's just because service pack 3 did not exist at the time that uh, uh, this snapshot was pulled. This is again from 2007. Service Pack 3 came out in 2008. It even worked with Server 2003, Media Center Edition, and Tablet PC Edition, which is uh, pretty awesome. So that is a brief little history of the website and, and actually what this organization offered. Uh, let's actually jump into taking a look at the Crystal XP Brico Pack and uh, checking out what it had to offer. All right, so let's go ahead and run the setup executable right here. We're going to go ahead and press on OK. You can see there's actually uh, some of those new icons already taken effect on the installer. And on this screen, it actually asks you what components uh, that you want to install. And essentially, these are going to be various modifications. Like, it's not going to install Internet Explorer or Windows Media Player. It's going to make visual modifications to them. But there are things like, for example, Wise Toolbar, uh, Extras, Logon Crystal. There are certain things that, like, it will actually install. We're just going to have everything selected just for the purposes of this video. And it actually installs to C Windows Packs and then Crystal XP instead of into program files. You could obviously change this if you wanted to. And you can see right here is where it actually modifies uh, very system files. This does uh, install a you know patcher to where you can actually install third-party themes on Windows XP because, um, and yeah, you can see right here with uxtheme.dll, uh, because by default, Windows XP does not allow you to install third-party themes. You have to actually patch uh, uxtheme.dll, and there are various you know patching tools for that. But what's nice about these transformation packs is they typically handle all of that for you, as we just saw. So we're going to go ahead and reboot the system to actually let all of these changes uh, take effect you're gonna go ahead and quit out of sea monkey here and uh, when we restart you're going to notice that xp is going to look a lot different so your first sign of crystal xp being installed is going to be here on the welcome screen i just actually logged out so i could show this to you but you can see it's got an entirely new design which looks pretty awesome we're gonna go ahead and log into our user account here 
And when you log in, you're going to notice a couple of major changes. Uh, first off, with this pop-up right here, you can see there is a new uh, close button on the top here. We will come back to that. You can see there is a new wallpaper, a custom wallpaper that the theme has applied with a uh, Tux lookalike. Uh, Tux is the mascot for the Linux operating system, and Crystal XP actually uses a uh, Tux lookalike as their logo for this specific uh, Brico pack. And you can see even on the start button, uh, the start button has been changed to utilize that uh, custom uh, Tux lookalike icon as opposed to, you know, having the Windows logo or the word start there. We will come back to that, though, as that is something that you can actually change. And this guy is, you're going to be seeing a lot more of him throughout the entire system. Uh, so not only is he on the start button here, but if we open up the start menu, he's kind of in the background here. But you can see that the start menu has been heavily modified as well. There's an entirely new theme. But not only that, there have also been modifications done to the right column over here and you can see there is no text there are only icons now normally i'm sure we all know that the second column in the windows xp start menu well it looks just like the first one there are both the icons and uh, the actual text of whatever application or folder that you're going to open when you click on it now it only displays icons so if you didn't know what each of these icons did this could actually take a while to get used to um, but again this is something that you can modify that i will touch on later on so the first thing that i want to show you is if we open up my computer here uh, and kind of show you the new explorer interface now like many other transformation packs out there this one not only applies a new theme to the actual windows but it also applies a new icon pack as well and you can see that taking effect on these icons right here and also on this sidebar you can see these new window controls taking effect uh, the new design these new icons here as well and we can kind of go in here you know go into local disk C you see we've got a new these files are hidden folder with again that uh, tux uh, look alike down there we're gonna go ahead and show the contents of this folder and you can see that continuing to take effect in the windows folder right here there is a new folder icon for all of these folders uh windows explorer the executable for that got a new icon um and yeah there's just a a entirely new icon pack that takes effect across the entire system uh controls up here like the back button forward button uh search all of these buttons do have a new uh, icon as well. Now, some could probably argue that these icons do look uh, a little Mac OS like, and there's definitely some Mac OS elements in this theme pack as well, and you can see that with the traffic light window controls up here. Uh, this is something that, I mean, Mac OS really popularized, um, so you can see that that is uh, evident up here. Now, the window controls are still here on the right side of the window, like they are in Windows, as opposed to being on the left, like in Mac OS, but they do have that kind of like a Mac OS look, even when you hover over them, just like in Mac OS, uh, it actually kind of displays the little icon of what uh, the button will actually do. But these new icons and new window controls take effect not only in Windows Explorer, but across the entire system. We can go into applications like Control Panel, and you can see in Control Panel, we've got a new category interface. There's a new uh, kind of background for that. Um, and there's also new icons all across the board for all of these different options. We can even go to Classic View. And uh, we can see that taking effect here as well. Now, again, some of them, in this case, Windows Firewall, Automatic Updates, uh, Security Center, uh, and even Speech, these do not have uh, new icons applied, but the majority of them do. We can go into System here, view the system info. You can see this has been totally modified as well. There's a new icon for the computer over here. You can see that the uh, tabs up here have a new design as well. It actually looks pretty nice, uh, a little bit more modern, definitely. Um, some icons, once again, are still the Windows XP default, but the majority of them uh, have been modified. Like if we go to hardware here, device manager, we can open that up. Uh, this in here actually, for the most part, still retains all of these standard icons, but the actual, you know, theme, like the window theme, the, uh, you know, controls over here do still apply. That's obviously going to be across the entire system. Another thing that I want to show you guys is if we open up the display properties right here, uh, you can actually, if you want to, you can change back to the regular Windows XP Luna theme. Even with this theme pack installed, that is definitely something that you're able to do. However, and I can show you if we click apply here, the Luna theme will get applied, but all of the icons will remain modified. You can see if I go into my computer here, we'll still have all of the new icons, but all of the Luna theme elements will be here. There's that Luna theme sidebar that we're all used to, but if we go into the Windows folder right here, you can see that all of these new icons um, 
are still well applied. So for you to actually get back the regular XP icons, you would have to literally uninstall the pack from your system. And you can do that by going into all programs. There is a new packs folder in here. You can see there's some new icons for the folders in the start menu as well. Go into Crystal XP, you can uninstall it here or update it if they still push out updates to this. There's even an extras folder, which we can get into here. And this actually uh, has some more wallpapers that you could choose from and some various different skins. Uh, there is a dock background you guys probably saw that in one of those earlier screenshots uh, we saw a program which I assume would be rocket doc because I saw mentions of that uh, on those forum posts uh, that was actually running so if you had rocket doc installed you could use one of these doc backgrounds in here that's custom made by these people uh, to actually theme rocket doc to look more and you know just kind of go better with crystal XP you've got one for smart bar XP Thunderbird which is a uh, mail client and Winamp. there's even a custom uh, theme for that as well which is definitely pretty cool I mean, that's really useful if you had some of those third-party programs installed and you wanted to kind of theme them to also look uh, like Crystal XP. So we can go back to display properties here because I want to actually change uh, back to the Crystal XP theme. Uh, so here we go. So go into desktop wallpaper here. You can see there is a new wallpaper. Right? It does not actually overwrite any of the existing wallpapers. However, it does do that with screensavers. You can see there is a new Windows XP screensaver that has been modified. And if we click preview here, you can see this is what it looks like. And even if I go into themes here and I choose the Windows XP theme, which is again the Luna theme, and I hit apply, uh, if I go to screensaver, uh, this Windows XP screensaver will still have the new logo that Crystal XP adds. So that is something that is actually like this screensaver file is modified. So if you'd actually get the regular uh, Windows XP logo screensaver back, you would have to either uninstall the theme or I assume that Crystal XP created like a backup file of it before that it modified it. So you could probably find that on the system and, you know, just apply that screensaver. Um, but also if we go under appearance here, this is kind of what I was talking about before. What you can also do is go down here to color scheme and you see there's four different options. Now the default one is option two here, which is the compact start panel, which is this, you know, compact start menu. But if I wanted to keep this theme, but I wanted to have the like full size start menu, I can go to number four here, hit apply. And now when I open up the start menu, you'll see that it looks a little bit more like the regular two column XP start menu that has, you know, this column with all of the you know proper text next to the icon so if you preferred this option or if you preferred the original option the one that's installed by default well you have the option to choose between the two now there are also two other um, styles in here as well and you might be wondering what those are well those have to do with the tux start button right here so right now it's this kind of tux look-alike but I can change it to the one that says wind flag compact SP, which is going to apply a Windows flag on the start button. But if I open up the start button, it's going to be the compact start menu. And you can see that the window flag does apply in the background as well. But if I wanted to have the window flag start button with the larger start menu, the more you know traditional XP start menu, that is option number three. I can click on apply. And now we're going to have the window flag start button with the full size two column start menu. So there are definitely a couple of customization options for you to choose from in here. So it's actually kind of nice that you're able to modify a couple of little things about the theme. I mean, you only have this one theme, but again, you have these four different variants of it, which modify uh, a couple of things relating to the start menu, which is pretty cool. Also, one thing I want to show you is if we open up Winver here, first of all, the run prompt you can see has a new logo right here, which could be from Linux, could be from Mac OS, definitely has that, you know, terminal look to it. Uh, we can go ahead and click on OK to open it up here. And you can see that the About Windows, uh, you know, this is Winver here, uh, does have a new banner. It does not actually say Windows XP or Crystal XP up here. It's literally just a bunch of icons. But you can see that down here, obviously, everything else in Winver, the version string, uh, service pack, all of that's going to stay exactly the same. Uh, so guys, there you have it. That is a in-depth look at Crystal XP. Again, just a really cool uh, transformation pack, customization pack, whatever you want to say, for Windows XP that gives your system a bit more of a Linux-like feel. 
Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times per week on this channel. And uh, if you guys have any video suggestions or comments for me, be sure to leave those down below. If you guys want to see um, some of the other transformation packs that these guys had to offer, you know, some of these other Brico packs, be sure to let me know as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say. And as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.